Hi everyone, in this video we are going to show you how to create and how to work with page headers. Headers are an important element of any website, in fact being the first part visible when you load a page. Here you will have to convey your main message together with a great design. In Uncode you can work with five different header types. You can work with the native basic header, named default header from Uncode 2.3.0, the first row is header or the content block header that are fully integrated with the theme options and page options, or you can use external plugins like the popular slider revolution and layer slider that are included in the Uncode purchase. However, please note that all the examples in our demos do not use external plugins, and all the Uncode demo headers are based on the native default or basic header, the first row is header, and content block header. The first type of header which we will discuss is the basic header. The Uncode basic header is designed to offer a simple and fast solution for creating headers, which is not dependent from the page builder. In fact, I have here three blog posts to which we are going to apply a header through the basic header functionality. It is possible to find the basic header option both in theme options and in page options. Then I go to theme options post, where I find the options to edit the single blog posts. I open the header tab and I activate the basic header type. Inside the basic header, there are plenty of useful options for making a header. Here you have the header width, the header height, the minimal height, the possibility to include the title, the skin, alignment options, all typographic settings, the featured image in header, thanks to this one it's possible to use the post's featured image as the background of the header, options to control the background, the parallax, possible zoom effects and more. Let's save theme options and see what happens. Well, the theme options are now saved. Refresh our blog posts. Here it is. We've activated the basic header. These are the base settings. Now let's go make this header nice and functional. For example, I set the header height to 75%. I apply a different family font among those imported, for example, the Poppins. I set the font size to 75 pixels, so it's bigger. Letter spacing to minus 0.05 em. Font weight at 700. I apply a dark background, I set the overlay that will help contrast the text heading with the background image, and imposed its opacity at 65%. That's it. It's not important for this basic header tutorial, but since we have the featured image and title repeated twice, both in the header and both in the page contents, I open the content tab and I remove the featured image and title from the page content area. Let's save the theme options and see the changes. Here we are, theme options are updated properly. Refresh the post. That's perfect. Here we have adjusted the layout of our blog post headers thanks to the basic header options. We've created a nice header for our blog posts, but the same procedure is valid for pages, portfolios, and even products. As said, the basic header, as with any other header type, is also available in the page options. For example, this page has a simple header created with the page options basic header. As you can see here, there are all the settings seen before in the theme options, but this time valid only for this specific page. So you can use these options when you need to create a quick and easy header with a specific layout used from a single page, portfolio, blog post or product. 
From Uncode 2.3.0, it is possible to use the first row as page header with the first row as header option. If you do not activate this option, your first row will be just the first row of the contents and not the page's header. And special features like the menu transparency will not be applied. So, to make the first row of a page, please navigate to Page Options Header tab and activate the first row option. Since you apply this option, the first row of the page will actually become a real header. This option is handy when you need to create a header that will only be used by one specific page. Just a note. If, when creating a page with a first row as header, your row changes background colour when you set the first row option, it is because you haven't set any row background. When you activate this option, technically, the first row is moved into the header section and is no longer part of the page content area, which is generally white. In a few words, the background you saw was the background of the HTML document. So please remember, when you use the first row as header option, to always give your first row a background colour or apply a background image. If your design requires an advanced header, the content block will suit your needs. In fact, if you need a complex header, thanks to the content block header, you can use the page builder to create your header and, if necessary, also use it as a matrix to design a dynamic contents header that can be applied to multiple pages. Since the content block feature is extensive, we have a dedicated video which I invite you to check. Here it's possible to see the header type selected is content block and that a specific content block is selected. The name refers to this page for a matter of logic but can be any of your choice. This is the content block header for this page and we can choose to edit it through the back-end editor or the front-end editor. Let's edit it with the front-end editor. Let's apply some simple changes like editing the header font weight to 500. I apply an animation. We can use, for example, the lines curtains animation. Here we are. I remove the top intro line and, for example, I modify the gradient to a solid violet colour for our palette presets. Here the violet colour I want to use. I save the settings and I close the module. Let's save the content block. And let's see how the changes are applied on our page. Page refresh. Here we are. Since you can edit your header with a page builder, you have the widest possible range of creative options. This is our recommended approach for creating headers. Let's go back to the previous example where we used the basic header to design the blog post header. The content block header type can also be used to create a design matrix that can be used by multiple headers with dynamic contents. Let's navigate to the theme options post header and modify the basic header to use the content block method. We've already set up a content block that is imported with others when importing demo contents. We have in fact already created presets that you can use for convenience. Let's save the theme options and check our blog posts. Here we are. We have a beautiful header that looks like most of the blog post demo headers you see on the Uncode main demo site. The advantage is that, since we can use the page builder, the creative possibilities become much more than using the basic header. Let's go back to our theme options. Let's open our content block with the front end editor. As you can see, this content block header is editable with the page builder and it becomes fun to edit the layout according to your needs with all the options available. 
It is important to note that since this content block is used to create the design of multiple headers, dynamic options have been activated for some modules. You can see that in the heading options, the dynamic heading option is enabled, which makes the text dynamic depending on the context. Or you can see that in the background options, the dynamic background option is enabled, which makes the featured image of each article used as background. If the target page or post does not have a feature image, the image selected in the background options will be used as fallback, in this case, this spatial landscape. If you want to know more, we have a video that explains this in detail in the category Pages and Archives. Let's make some changes to this content block matrix to see how the changes apply to all instances where this content block is used. For example, let's make the main heading uppercase. That's it. Let's remove the category from the info box. Let's make the author's avatar a bit bigger. Let's select the large avatar option. OK, done. Then I could apply the Ken Burns effect to the background. When it is activated, it makes the background image slowly zoom so as to liven up the section. You can see now that the background is slowly zooming. I also insert a bottom shape divider. Let's select the swoosh opacity divider. The swish divider is perfect. And to finish, I can apply an animation to the whole column container. With a bit of a delay before the animation is triggered. Of course, these are some random changes that serve only as a demonstration, but thanks to the page builder, you can really do as you want. Let's save the content block and let's refresh our blog posts. There you go, perfect. Here you can see our modifications done with the page builder. We have the modified heading, the Ken Burns the swoosh divider, and this makes the creative possibilities virtually endless. Please note, content block header can also be used to create headers with multiple slides, thanks to content slider module. While working with the transparent headers and multiple slides with different colors, you'll find yourselves in a situation where you need to change the color of the logo and menu, depending on the header background image you are using. For example, you see here that the logo and menu are changing coloration based on the slide to ensure optimal contrast. When you use the content block header, the logo and menu will inherit the skin of the main column of the header content. So to edit the correct skin, just open the main column settings of each slide and in the Style tab, set the correct skin option. And in this way, we always have a perfect contrast and above all, we don't have problems of legibility. If you want more information, you can check the Skins or Menu Transparent video tutorial, where we describe this process in detail. Now that we have seen the native methods of Uncode, which are the ones we recommend you to use since they are lightweight and integrated with the theme, we present alternative plugins you can use and which are part of the Uncode theme purchase. The first is Slider Revolution. Slider Revolution is a responsive WordPress slider plugin that attractively displays your content. This extensive plugin has a multiplicity of useful options. We suggest you refer to the official Slider Revolution resources to learn more about the plugin and its usage, since the documentation is really extensive. Slider Revolution is pretty intuitive and similar to Basic Header or Content Block Header. You can use it both from the theme options if you want to use it on multiple pages, or you can use it from the page options. You'll probably use this plugin mainly from the page options for single pages. When using Slider Revolution with Uncode, it is important to make only a note about the use of skins with transparent menu. If you need to apply the color change effect to your individual slides of your header, created with Slider Revolution, Skin Change, 
as you have for the header content block, please apply the data skin equals open speech marks dark close speech marks or data hyphen skin equals open speech marks light close speech marks for any slides. Another plugin you can use that is part of the purchase is Layer Slider. Layer Slider WP is a premium multi purpose slider for creating image galleries, content sliders, and mind blowing slideshows. This is a very complete plugin with tons of options. We suggest you refer to the official product descriptions and documentation to learn more about how to use it. As with other header types, you can use it both from the theme options if you want to use it on multiple pages or you can use it from page options. As with Slider Revolution, you'll probably use this plugin mainly from the page options for single pages diversification. If you need to apply the color change effect to individual slides of your header created with Layer Slider, please apply in the key option the word skin and in the value option the word dark or light according to the desired skin for any slides. We've seen how to use the basic header and the powerful content block, as well as the slider revolution and layer slider plugins that are part of the purchase. And with that, we finish our header discussion. You are now ready to create your page headers with Uncode. You have a multitude of almost infinite options to choose from.